Brandon is a truck driver, and he's looking to get into kilts for daily wear. He wants to be a serial kilter. You like that? Yes. You like that? Serial kilter? We are okay. now using the term, by the way, serial kilter. So somebody who wears a kilt on a regular basis, whether it's daily, whether it's as, you know once a week or as much as they can, serial kilter. I'm not going to use it all the time, but... I will. It's okay. a, it's a, it's a okay. cheesy pun, joke it's kind cheesy. of thing. Yeah. That's me. Okay, cool. I'm cheesy. Anyway... Brendan may be interested in being a serial kilter, and he's a truck driver. Um, he's looking towards going PV because, you know, ease of use and all that. Um, what are our suggestions for getting in and out of a semi? And also keeping the pleats crisp in the process. Sure. I mean, a semi, that's different from getting out of a car. <clears throat> yes. Um, it's, it is and it's not. Because you're, you're, you're not sitting down in, but you're getting up and then getting in. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I would... I would make the same suggestion whether it's a car or a semi. Um, a, a quick life hack, as it were, to wear your kilt in a vehicle, whether it's a truck that you have to jump up into or a car you sit down in, is get a bath towel or get a, a beach towel. Just leave it on the front seat of your car. When you go to get in the car, take the beach towel, wrap it around yourself wearing the kilt while you are standing. You know, connect it in front, you know, tuck it into itself, whatever, sit down in your car, you can turn your legs sideways, and the bath towel will keep everything kind of tucked around you. Then when you are seated in the car, undo the towel, boom. And then when you go to get out of the towel, just leave, or go to get out of the towel. When you go to <laughs> go to get out of the car, leave the towel on the front seat. And that way, when you come back to the car, you know, repeat the process. That will keep your pleats effectively straightened while you are driving. I, I can see that. I think it may be a, a, a thing he's not going to want to deal with all the time, getting in and out and in and out, like if he's just stopping at a truck stop or whatever. But um, but that's a that's the ultimate technique because that's a tool. Um, barring that, you're just going to have to perfect the the pleat sweep. You know, basically you can keep your pleats in pretty good sh shape just by learning to basically lift your butt. You know, keep your feet braced on the floor, lift your butt and sweep your pleats a little bit, you know, as you get settled in the seat before you're ready to buckle up and start driving. I assume you buckle up. Um, that's that's basically it, you know, between that for usual use and then the, the towel trick, if you're really worried about it or, you know, special occasion in the truck, I don't know. Well, I'm thinking but, more along the lines of it's the, the pleat sweep is is fine if you are, uh, it's it's not going to be perfect. It'll be true. good. True. Um if you're going a short distance, it won't matter because you're not going to be in the car for hours on end. Yeah, if he's doing like local deliveries, maybe it's one thing. But if he's doing cross country, that's yeah. If I'm other. driving cross country, I want to be comfortable. Um, I understand why you have the kilt on because yeah. you can just you know have an air vent there. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, so you get the Johnny bottle in. Yeah, know. but but the sacrifice is you are sitting on a lump of fabric, and if you don't sweep it correctly, you're going to be you know adjusting the yeah. back of the pleats more or trying to adjust them and if you have material seats versus leather it kind of grabs the fabric a little bit and it's more difficult to yeah. to actually sweep them and adjust so it depends on how many hours he's planning on being behind the wheel yeah basically if it's gonna be all day then you might want to do the towel thing yeah now <clears throat> in case you meant like um modesty getting in and out of a semi since you're climbing up uh and you're worried about up breezes or something like that maybe you're just gonna have to practice you know it's uh yeah, Mac, you're nodding at me. Yeah, I mean, my, my dad was a, was a truck driver for years and, and still drives uh, rigs. So, okay. yeah, getting up and out of the truck, you, get, you do get a tend to get that updraft, especially when you're, you're okay. going between other rigs if you're pulling into a truck stop or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that could be interesting. Yeah, you end up um, looking like a lot lizard. <laughs> and, yes. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, if you're worried about it, there's always the underwear thing, but that defeats the purpose of being comfortable while you're driving. It's part of the advantage of driving in a kilt. Okay, he, he is. He actually, Brandon is actually on here, hey, Brandon, and cool. uh, hey. he's um, is worried because he is a long distance and, and okay. for modesty. So yeah, so he's yeah. a long distance okay. trucker. Yeah. So then um, the towel would be good for keeping the pleats looking nice. The um, and modesty at the same time too. It's yeah, a little bit more every difficult. Every time you to, get in and out, I don't know. I don't know. Does he have to pee every three miles? I don't know how how often he gets think, in and out of the um, truck. I think you're gonna have to try it at home, and it may depend on what kind of footholds and the shape of the doorway opening. And everything is on your particular truck. Um, if you change out trucks 
or something like that based on the job, then maybe that's not as helpful. But if you have your own, your own truck, then I'd assume that you can get used to where there are good handholds and how you can kind of spin strategically as you get up and out. Um, I have occasionally been in vehicles where I wanted to make sure that I was facing forward when I exit the vehicle, as opposed to having my butt showing when I exit the vehicle. That's probably going to make you feel a lot better, especially if you have a sporn on, because you know if your butt is to the yeah, if, if your butt's to the cabin, then if you do get an updraft, you're not going to nobody's going to see anything, and your your sporn is going to keep things down in the front. Um, that's probably the best advice I can give. Um, as always, it's going to come down to some experimentation. And yeah. it's the the other thing I'll say is if you're if you are wearing underwear, then who cares? You're wearing underwear. So somebody, you know, saw a flash. You could flash. also say if you're regimental, who cares? You know, but. No, well, yeah. Well, it's, I'd be a little bit yeah. more concerned about, you know, kids and, you know, people walking past <laughs> if I'm regimental yeah. in the truck. But if I'm wearing underwear and I get out of the truck and someone happens to see my underwear, it's all my underwear. It's not the yeah. end of the world. Yeah. It's not that much different than a pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It's, it's definitely worth trying, though, because I, I, I can tell you, long long distance driving in a kilt, a lightweight kilt, maybe not a wool one, uh, can be very comfortable. It can yeah. be really nice. So it's worth it's worth checking out. So Well, even if wool, if he is wool this way, if he does, uh, he has a sleeper cab, he, he's got a blanket there, too. <laughs> <laughs> a great kilt. Uh, yeah, there See, you go. There yeah, yeah, yeah. Great See, kilt. As you guys kept saying, sweep the pleats. Now I'm having the, the picture of... Uh, of Karate Kid instead of sweep the leg, it's now sweep sweep the pleats. There you go. There you go. <laughs> sweep the pleats. Sweep the pleats. Wax on. Wax off. Sweep the pleats. Eric's on. That's a Ooh. thing. That's going to be a thing now. Sweep the pleats. Love it. Remember, sweep the pleats. We have to, now. We have to get you know, Miyagi. We need a clip of Miyagi. I, I want to overdub <laughs> vocals. Sweep the pleats, or just the pleats. I want. I want you. <laughs> I want you in a, in, a, in a kilt doing. Crane thing? The crane thing, yeah. <laughs> With That's... underwear on. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's not you with a sporin. I, I... Don't wear a sporin <laughs> if you do the crane kick. You will hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you could use a sporin like nunchucks, though. Have two sporins on a chain and just kind of like do that. Kinda... Hmm. More of a mace effect. Yeah, it would be more <laughs> yeah. of a... Yeah. Um, Brendan, I wish I could give you more solid advice, but that's basically what I would try. See if you can turn so that you're facing away from the cabin, or the cab, rather, when you get out of the truck. You know, that might be the, the best way. And just figure out where your handholds are so you don't have to think about it every time you do it. I will yeah. say this, a random aside. I don't wear a Sporin. If I'm driving long, you know, long range, more than, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I will generally take my Sporin off because I find it more comfortable to just have be without Sporin. Yeah, but it's easy enough than, to clip it back on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you're in a truck, you know you have to do the whole back arch thing and try to clip it around. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's hopefully, hopefully you'll figure it out. Absolutely. Good luck and Godspeed. <laughs> okay. Sweep the pleats. You have a problem with that? No, Rocky. No wrinkles. <laughs>